Hi, I'm Roger Givis. Welcome to this part one of this live demonstration of the HMC Enhanced Graphical User Interface. This is part one, logging in, info sources and about. So part one, then we're going to log in, we're going to look at how we can find some articles and videos about the HMC, the Knowledge Centre info and some more information and about the version of the HMC. So I'm using Chrome to get to the HMC. Uh, things have changed uh, over the past year. We get information about the number of systems, the partitions and the VO servers. These are the ones connected to this particular HMC. Sammy fired machines have uh, the attention LED on the front. They're wanting me to do something or at least know about something and I've had a whole bunch of serviceable events over the weekend. The air conditioning failed and a lot of the power machines are reporting that this is temperature is too high and if it goes really high they'll actually power themselves off to protect themselves. Over here there's uh, LinkedIn, Developer Works, and YouTube and you're thinking what on earth is that doing on HMC? I, I don't want to you know, send um, information to those particular web services telling people how glad I am about the new user interface um, but these aren't what you might expect uh, in LinkedIn you go to the LinkedIn group for Power VM and there's a whole bunch of articles in there so similar sort of thing with the developer works uh, for YouTube it's a list of um, a particular user called Power VM and videos that the developers and others have created about the HMC and Power VM options as well. So these are useful information sources that you can go and have a look at. Down the bottom we have a, a little application that you can run for um, Android. This is the App Store and the, and the Apple Store. Um, so you can actually download a little uh, application to your um, smartphone if the screen's big enough for a tablet uh, and use the user interface uh, there. Now I'm going to log in. I've been uh, NAG as a user for 30 years now, so I'm allowed to do that at IBM even. Um, I'm going to put my HMC password in here. If I get that wrong, um, it's going to be a very short demo. You note in here with the 870, there isn't a do you want classic version or the enhanced plus version of the graphical user interface. There is only one. In fact, if you click on this button in here, it's adding a new tab to my browser. You can't quite see this, but this is a big long table saying that if you're on the classic version and, and you're looking for this, then on the enhanced plus, you look at it a slightly different way and get to find the similar sort of thing. And there's a, a couple of pages of stuff in there. If you really can't find stuff, uh, have a look in there. It'll give you some hints about where they put it. Hopefully this video is going to explain a lot of that uh, for you anyway. So I'll sign in now. Now it does take a couple of seconds on the initial uh, load. Uh, quite a splurge of stuff goes to your browser, lots of Java and JavaScript and all that sort of stuff. Um, the classic version does the same, there's a little pause as it does that. It only took a couple of seconds. So here we go. Now this is not the default as you first come in. Um, up, up in here, this is me logged in, and you can see log off in here, as you, you probably have, have guessed that. Um, in here there's a whole bunch of information. This is the um, Knowledge Center. So this is the uh, documentation online on the internet. Um, for lots of information, if I click on there, I just want to check, yep, it's on the uh, internet, it's an ibm.com address. Now if we, uh, oops, if we go in here, there's some specific information for installing, managing, uh, servicing the HMC itself. Uh, Read me, now that is worth checking out. Um, I've recently had my laptop here refreshed, uh, Windows 7 put on it, a completely fresh version, and it, I had to go into there to remind me to set specific things so the HMC was happy with pop-ups, for example. Uh, this is the uh, getting started. This is what you tend to see first time in. If it's a brand new HMC, then you should go through this uh, complete uh, guide to setup wizard. Of course, if, if this has already been installed and working and you've upgraded to 870, don't go in here because it will try and overwrite all your settings, your IP addresses and your networks and users and uh, telephone numbers and all that sort of stuff. So don't go through that again. This is for connecting a new machine scene, and this is about uh, updates uh, of your HMC. But we can get to these in other ways once we're running. 
If we go in here again and do about, this t is where you find out the information about what you're actually running. So running the 870, it's a beta code. They've actually given us a, a big, uh, <laughs> typical for the HMC is a, a three and a half gigabyte patch. Uh, when I was a programmer, patches are in kilobytes, not gigabytes, but there we go. That's the way they do it now. Right, now, typically though, we want to actually start in this mode, looking at the system resources, as typically you'll say, well, how are my machines today? Well, that's the end of part one. Next one is part two, looking at the common features of the graphical user interface.